What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through, I believe... Hold on, let's go ahead and take a look at the town map, because I just played this. Uh, it says down there in the description, yes, Route 3. So, now it is time for us to go into some kind of mine situation right here. And yes, we did capture some Pokemon, too, the Galar Mine. Look at this. You will, you will be able to find some interesting Pokemon, one being... Uh, you know, Roly Colies, Drillbur, those Pokemon. Now, I'm not going to be capturing any Pokemon right here. I'm just going to be going through and uh, beating everybody off screen. These Pokemon will be captured and added to the PC, Pokedex, and all that crud. And yes, we're going to be adding some stuff right here. Look at that. And okay, so my work partner and I are in perfect sync, even in battle. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, taking on Worker Keith. He does have a nice scrub uh, of, 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 not kind of a mustache, but a beard or something like that. So here we are taking on a uh, Rog and Roller right here. And it looks like to us, it's going to be a very defensive battle right here. So here we go. Bam. That one hits Rog and Roller pretty good. And its weak armor, well, its defense will go down, but its uh, speed will go up tremendously. And here comes a tackle attack. Holy crud. Okay, so let's go straight for a Dragon Claw yet again. And look at that. We have defeated Roggenrola. Oh my god. Look at that butt. And yes, we're getting more levels right here. And Worker Keith has been defeated. Yeah, you guys weren't in sync at all. <laughs> okay, so let's move on right here to the next area. And uh, hopefully we'll actually find some, actually, some good stuff right here, which I hope we can. I just seen one right there. Uh, let's go right here, and we will be finding, bam, three great balls, and, well, let's see, I think there's, there should be something else right here, or an exit, yeah, there is an exit right here, and you are, you are back out in Route 3, but you'll be able to find this little item right here, and that is the TM-54 Rock Blast, Rock Blast, it basically, well, let's see. The user hurls hard rocks at the target. Two to five turns are launched in a row. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and teach that to a Pokemon. Another thing, too, that I'm trying to do, guys, is I'm actually trying to use a little bit more TMs because I remember in the last walk that I did for this for this game, I didn't really use these uh, TMs very much. And, wow, still can't learn anything. Never mind. Okay, so let's go right ahead and let's go ahead and take a uh, take care of like let's take care of business right here. So that's one guy down, and we got quite a few people to go. Obviously, there's going to be some trains and some track. Uh, they're going to be running by right here, and you know what? Let's go right ahead and switch out Pokemon right now because Bone Saw looks like it's going to have some trouble right here. And let's go straight. To, let's see, Michelangelo. Let's see what you got. It's a water type Pokemon, not a rock type Pokemon yet. The power or the Pokemon's strong jaw boosts the power of its biting moves. Huh. Okay, so we do have a move uh, that can actually beat most of these Pokemon. We just got to be fast enough. So let's see what this girl has to say. In order to do work, I, I can't slack off on training. Can't. Okay, so here we are taking on worker Georgia. And she's coming out with a timber. That is, uh, that, that kind of sucks because, if, well, I picked the wrong Pokemon for this situation, okay? So, well, I guess we can use Shadow Blade mainly because it does have Peck Attack. Fighting type Pokemon, weak against those guys. So, here we go, Shadow Blade. Let's go. And the Unnerve Attack, it's going to eat some berries. And, well, here comes a Low Kick. Not very effective, so let's go straight for a Peck Attack. And this one... We'll give give some good damage right here. So yeah, wow, this wow. They, he used he literally used like it literally used the two by four just to whack me. Wow. So there we go again. So this is gonna be a pecking at. Oh wow, it's got rock turn a uh, rock throw, and that right there is gonna mess me up quite a bit. So we got a last ditch effort right here. Peck attack does the trick. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. So it looks like to me. The Shadow Blade's going to do all right, and she's going to be coming out with another Timber. So, let's go straight for Bonesaw, 
And, uh, well, I guess Bonesaw can actually do some work right here. You can actually, like, you know, beat it with its Dragon Claw and all that crud. I did teach it Dragon Claw with a TR, so it should prove useful right here. So let's go right ahead and go straight for a Dragon Claw right here. And the Dragon Claw hits Timber, and Timber's falling right there. Look at that. Okay, and just like that, Michelangelo grows to level 13. And I'm going to continue on right here with Bonesaw. Alright, let's go, Timber. See what you got. Another Dragon Claw for the win. And, yep, Timber has been defeated. Okay, so we're kicking some butt, taking some names, and Kiss is growing up uh, quite a bit. Okay, so this is some good training. Very, very good training. Okay, so there is a little something that I kind of want to do here, okay? Kiss is one level away from evolving to Lanoon. And we do have we do have some experienced candy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna give let's see kiss quite a few Let's see. Let's go. Let's give it ten because that will be what? That will be a thousand uh, a thousand of them So let's go ahead and give it one more and just like that kiss grows to level 20 And it's going to start evolving Kiss look at this guy a rock star my my thing is that I want to see what happens when it evolves into its final form. I'm still trying to figure out how that, that is. So I'm going to look it up while I'm playing right here. So as you can see, we got Linoon. And it is both a dark and normal type Pokemon. This is the Galarian form, the rushing Pokemon. It uses its long tongue to taunt its opponents. Once the op opposition is enraged, this Pokemon hurls itself at its opponent, tackling them forcefully. Yes, this Pokemon is a pretty good one, and well, it wants to learn Night Slash. Let's go ahead and give it Night Slash. As you can see, it is a very physical Pokemon, so let's go ahead and uh, take away Snarl. I did teach it uh, Seed Bomb right here because, well, it, it, it can prove useful. Now, it looks like... it does look like a skunk. And now, let's see. We do have this. Give this to a Pokemon. Yeah, we, we we got a lot of Dynamax candies, guys. We did a lot of training. A lot of training. A lot of... Uh, we just did a lot of work when it comes to... Uh, when it came to, like, you know, finding some uh, Pokemon around here. Got ourselves Luxury Balls. A whole bunch of Pokeballs right here. And, well, let's see. Actually, let's go right here. So, as you can see, we got 42 Fancy Apples, which is uh, kind of a lot. So let's see, uh, yeah, we gotta heal up a Pokemon, and might as well give this to Shadow Blade. And there we go. Okay, so, now that we did a little bit of an evolution, let's go ahead and swap our Pokemon and get Kiss to actually battle, because we have yet to see Kiss actually battle here. And, well, there is a TM right there, and we found ourselves the TM26 Scary Face. The user frightens the target with a scary face to harshly lower his speed stat, which is good. It's something that I've noticed too, that, that the TMs are pretty much stat effectors and weak moves. Kind of lame because it's like, wow, you guys really took the aspect of it and you made the TRs valuable moves, so. Worker Mormon are good at Pokemon battles too. I'm pretty damn sure of it. Okay, so here we go, taking on Worker Sandra, and she is coming out with a Diglett. So this is the perfect Pokemon to go up against. Uh, our good old buddy Kiss. So look at this. Kiss is looking like a skunk. Here we go, Seed Bomb. And... Bam! Look at that. Okay, so Kiss. Look at that. Kiss is kicking some butt right here. And, well, Pokemon are growing levels, yeah. And she's going to be coming out with a Drill Burr. I'm going to stay put right here. Yes, guys, I will be capturing Drillbur, you know, Drillmonger. And uh, we will be bringing in our Unovan team right here, too. And look at that. No more Drillbur. Okay. Alrighty. And, well, Sandra has been defeated. And, uh, yeah, well, she, she's a little happy that she lost. So, yeah, Kiss is a very valuable Pokemon right now. And there is somebody right there that wants to see us, but let's grab this item. We found ourselves in the ether. And, well, let's give it another go right here by grabbing this. 
and we found ourselves a heavy pet or heavy duty boots these do or these boots prevent the effects of traps set on the battlefield hmm Comment on the comment down below. Let me know what that is so Here we are guys taking on Russell the worker and he's gonna be coming out with a roly coly so as of right now, it's just a rock type Pokemon and Well, let's go right ahead and go with a seed bomb man Yeah, this Pokemon right here is Yeah, it is a <laughs> I'm actually liking using Kiss, and well, there we go. More levels for all of us right there. And let's see, Bonesaw is learning a scary face. Yeah, I don't think I really need it right now, so we're just going to move on ahead. And just like that, we have defeated another worker, which is good. This is great. It's fantastic. And there are some Pokemon right there that we don't want to mess with right now. And well, let's go right ahead and grab this. Actually, what am I doing? Holy crud. Okay. There we go. We got ourselves two super potions. There is somebody right there waiting for us. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight to Bex right here. And, well... Would you look at this guy? No, at first I actually thought it was a, it was a chick, but... It's just a dude that really likes pink. Coming this way, I'd advise against it. Any trainer with a wishing star is in for a beating from me and my Pokemon. Uh, sure, why not? I'm just gonna walk this way because I I really don't care who you are. So as you can see, uh, yeah, you, you're the gym challenger endorsed by the champion, aren't you? What a joke! You are aware that the chairman is more important than the champion, right? I was chosen by the chairman himself, so that makes me more amazing than you. Okay. I suppose I should prove beyond a doubt just how pathetic you are and how strong I am. Okay, again, something is up this guy's you know what. So here we go, taking on Pokemon Trainer Bead. And he's coming out with a Solosis right here. Alright, I'm not scared. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Here we go with the Flame Charge. There we go, Flame Charge does it, and Solosis, not happy right now. Yes, definitely not happy right here, and well, it's like I'm just giving you a little chance to shine, that's all. Okay, and well, let's see, it's gonna come out with a Gothita. Gothita is a, Gothita is a Psychic type Pokemon, right? Just a Psychic type Pokemon. Could be mistaken, I don't even know. So here we go, Kiss ready to go, and here comes Gothita. Man, I'm actually liking Kiss right now. I really am liking him. I'm kinda thinking maybe I should just keep him on the team, but then again, it's like we shall see. We 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 shall see guys. And well, look at this. We're growing some more levels. Michelangelo, learn, protect, and well, here comes a Hatina. So, this guy likes to use a lot of psychic type Pokemon, and well, he's still talking his ish right here. So, let's go with a Gothita, and here has a, or a Hatina. Now, if you guys remember, I actually used a Hatina in my other walkthrough. Totally regretted it, mainly because it was, well, it was a, it, it's a psychic and, and it's a psychic and a fairy type Pokemon. And I regretted it because it was the slowest Pokemon. I didn't even check that. And for me, it's like, I really don't like slow Pokemon. I'm sorry. And well, that's fine. I wasn't really trying to hard at all. Okay. Okay, so here we are. Well, that was unexpected. I suppose you're more able than I thought. Naturally, I'll remember your battle style and strategies now. I'm sure to easy, uh, easily defeat you if, if and when we face each other in uh, an official match. Now that we've established that, I won't waste any more time on you. I've already gathered every wishing star in this area. Okay, all right. I mean, how many wishing stars do you want? Okay, so that was that, and well, there's an item right there that we need to grab, and look at that, bag of Stardust. Not the wrestler, it's just Stardust. And well, we are finally out of the Galar Mines, and we're gonna be going into a pretty nice place uh, a very nice place where you can actually find some Pikachu, some Eevees, and all that stuff. Hi, am Oh, yeah. See, this is the girl that, you know, actually helps us heal our Pokemon. So, we're going to heal our Pokemon right here. 
And we are that close to turf field right here. Uh, let's go right ahead and start shaking this uh, this thing right here. So there we go, shaking that. And let's go again, shake it again. Crap. All right, like I said, Galarian Mouth is one of these Pokemon. So just be aware of what what, what, your, what your surroundings are. Um, some of these Pokemon are pretty fast, and they are very persistent. So, yeah, uh, try and run away. <laughs> like I said, run away, guys, because these Pokemon are fast. And holy crud. Okay, so we got big booty ball toes. Holy crud. Oh, there's a Pikachu right there. And wow, this guy just saw me like through the ledge. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. Okay, so... Here we are, another Pokemon breeder, and this guy has some electric type Pokemon. So yeah, that 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 right there. We just got to be careful with the physicality and all that crud. So let's go with a flame charge. Obviously, I'm using a physical attack, so that right there defeats the purpose of anything. So here we go, flame charge, and that does a nice number on Electric. Okay, alrighty, and yes, I did already capture Raiden, and Bex and Shadow Blade growing levels right there. And he's coming, or, or yeah, he's coming out with a low tad right here. So let's go straight to Shadow Blade now. Off screen, while I was actually battling one of, the, or yeah, when I was, I think I battled Squobit or one of the wild Pokemon. Shadow Blade actually learned Pluck, so it's a very, it's a very useful move, much more powerful. And well, let's go straight for the Pluck attack right here. Pluck attack, pluckity, pluck a pluck pluck. There we go. And yes, Lotad does not like that. And we're continuing with the leveling. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. That's how you do it, guys. And there was a Pikachu right here. So let's go right ahead and battle this guy. So here we have a male Pikachu. I already have a male Pikachu. But me capturing this guy... Me capturing this guy is for a purpose because... The current Pikachu that I have right now, you can't evolve it. You, it was basically given to you because you were playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and because of that, that Pikachu cannot evolve. So, here it is, guys, a Pikachu that can evolve, and plus we can actually use this guy to breed, breed our Pokemon, and get Pichu and all that crud. So. There's that, and I do believe in Pokemon. Since we're playing Pokemon Sword, I believe. Pikachu is the Pokemon that you can actually find more than Eevee, so yeah, there's that. Um, okay, so oh wow, oh oh oh, he's chasing us, and we better run, we better, we better run away quickly. So let's go ahead and grab that, a sharp beak, which will actually help our flying type Pokemon right here. That's another Pikachu, and what I'm planning on doing is that I think I already have a Pikachu, a female Pikachu that I got from Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. And I'm actually going to... I've already named my, I've already named my niece's uh, name right there. So, um, probably going to bring it over to Pokemon Sword. And this guy saw us from that far away? Good gravy. Okay, so here we go. Poke Kid Rice wants the battle. And he's coming out with a Joltik. And believe it or not, guys, I actually captured Joltik over in the wild area. As a... I think it was a... Yeah, I think it was a, a Gigantamax Pokemon. So, there we go. Joltik defeated. There we go. Oh, my God. And, well, we're growing some levels. We're kicking some butts. And we're continuing to do this with uh, Bex right here. And here is a Grubin, or Grubbin. I think this Pokemon eventually evolves into an electric type Pokemon and well there we go that's how you do that and well let's see that's that and well we have defeated a another another Pikachu fan right here so let's see there's Pikachu I'm gonna sneak away sneak 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 uh damn it damn it okay so we have the TM07 pin missile very good book type move and I'm going to run like hell. There we go. And that's a male Pikachu, so I'm not going to capture that guy. And we have yet to battle this guy right here. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, we caught ourselves a Milkery, guys. Uh, it, that is a Fairy-type Pokemon. A brand new Fairy-type Pokemon that will eventually evolve into, like, some kind of cake-based Pokemon. And as you can see right here, there is a Eevee Lover. 
And, well, since we are playing Pokemon Sword, Eevee is a little harder to capture or to find. So, I think the, I think the deal is this, that I might just capture quite a few Eevees in the in Pokemon's Shield. I, I've, already, I've already progressed in that. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that and just pass them over right here. That way we can have a nice collection of the Eeveelutions and crud. And, well, let's see. That's that. And Eevee has fainted. Michelangelo grows another level. And Mia has been defeated. Oh, poor girl. Okay, so let's move on. Get the heck away from these guys. Holy crud. Holy crud. Oh! And he, yeah, these guys chase us all over the place. And there's one more item. Good gravy. Okay, so I'm going to sneak. How do I sneak? Run like hell. Grab the item. And we found ourselves a Revival Herb, which is great. Run like hell again. And we're out of there. Okay, so we got one more section right here that we can actually uh, find. And hold on just a sec. Found, hold, hold, what, what am I doing? I'm just pressing all these buttons right here. This is what happens when you have sausage fingers. Okay, so right here you can actually find yourself some Diglets. And yeah, these guys right here. Holy crud. So grab this. And we found ourselves a pile of silver powder. And good gravy. You're not safe around here. And there we go. Two X accuracies, which will actually help us out. Battle this guy or girl. Okay, now I say a wild Poke Kid appeared. This is so true. Very, very true. Okay, so here we, we are taking on Sunny. And she is coming out with a Milkery, a Pokemon that we actually captured off screen right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go straight for a flame charge attack. Get it all flame and charboiled and all that crud. And look at that. Milkery has been defeated. And, well, that is that. Okay, so I, I, I guess we did our part right there. Holy crud. Okay. So let us move on right here. Yeah, we're going to be capturing all these Pokemon right here in this section. Uh, yeah, we're going to be capturing them off screen, but... Right when you're about to progress, Wooloo, where do you think you're going? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. No, it's not Hop, but it's somebody else. And there's this Wooloo that just crashed in into us and stomped. Hmm. My, are you okay? You took that tackle head on. Hmm. Oh, you must be one of those gym challengers, right? Yes, indeedy. Ah, I thought so. I saw you at the opening ceremony. My name is Milo. I'm the gym leader and rather partial to grass-type Pokemon. I've been itching to see how good the champion endorsed gym challengers are. Let me see, or let me find out at my gym stadium. Just head on through this route and you'll run right into the my stadium. See you there. Come on now, back onto the stadium uh, uh, with you too. We can't keep th uh, the gym challengers waiting. And well. Yeah, this Wooloo is uh, pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Just saying, bleh. Okay, so... Yeah, I guess we're gonna be moving on right here. So, here it is, guys. We have reached Turfiel, and, well... <laughs> just when I thought I eluded this guy, Hop is back here. He's like, look! Just take a look, Dra Draven. That's Turfiel Stadium down there. Okay. It's a pretty nice-looking stadium. The gym leader just returned too. Milo is his name, but the place is jam-packed with challengers. It'll be ages before we turn up and comes up. Oh, but Sonya was looking for you, Draven. She wanted to ask you about something she tried asking me, but I had no idea. She's up the, on What's-Her-Face Hill, you know, the, the one. What? You don't know what, what the hill? Well, have a look at your map if you're not sure. Bow wow wow. Yippee yo yippee yay. And here we have... Uh, Oh, it's a Yamper. Oh, if it isn't Sonya's Yamper. He's a good boy. He'll show you the way. And Yamper is a, a very good boy. Yes, he is. Okay, so we have finally made it to Turfield, guys. We're going to stop right here. This is a pretty good ending right here. In the next episode, we're going to have a little exploration of Turfield. And then we're going to be going in for our very first badge. Yes, finally. Other than that, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button, the notifications button, and if you guys want to make a small donation right here onto this channel, the link is right there on the description. 
Thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.